Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next studio series review. And this one is one that I've had this guy for around a week now and I have been so excited to get to because this is a gem that I have been waiting on for so long and when he finally showed up, oh man, I was so happy. He is amazing. The best Optimus Prime figure we have gotten. And of course, as you see in front of us, it is the Studio Series 86 movie, Optimus Prime. And this has all the bells and whistles. They did this thing really, really great. But as we always do, we shall take a look at our packaging. And oh, I love the artwork. Just, let's start from the corner here. So we've got, just like out of the 86 movie scene from it, we've got him firing little blasters that boost him up. He transforms in midair and starts shooting. Love it. Absolutely love it. There we got a product shot. Another product shot. He is, of course, Studio Series. Optimus Prime, 86, number 31, 8 plus which, meh, whatever. Hasbro, Transformers. Got, unfortunately, a little damage in the corner here, but that's okay. The Transformers, the movie, on the top. Another product shot, and you can see all the dust. <laughs> the Transformers, the movie, on the bottom. We got our barcode with a whole bunch of other words and stuff. On this side, we've got up-close image of Optimus, looking really good. This is a commander class in different languages. On this side, another great image of artwork of Optimus, looking amazing. And on the back, we have our product shots. And man, this thing just looks really good. We got our backdrop. This, I absolutely love this figure. Oh yeah. So we'll set that off to the side. And let's get it camera adjusted here and take a look at optimus and he's got the right size trailer he's got an amazing looking truck mode i mean this thing is just incredible love all the details just wow just oh man look at the back trailer has tail lights really love that there's some nice designs here for how the back doors on a trailer operate so really happy for that he's got tail lights on the cab and if you can see i already fixed my heels i did have the heels that were swapped and made them upside down it's it's real easy there's a couple videos that show how to get the pin out the proper way of getting the pin out in order to swap them i did that i do have a pin pusher so that really helped out um, it just looks incredible all this silver for the mirrors the grill the headlights a little bit yellow on the bumper with that silver bumper silver for the one of the gas tanks just Oh, incredible silver smokestacks. Big old Autobot symbol on the trailer with all the gray. So just like it is in the cartoon and the 86 movie, it is the um, the gray, which the toy had the gray with the blue stripe. So this is, you know, just like out of the show slash movie. And just absolutely loving it. Gotta love that. Blue. It kind of looks like it's a translucent blue or translucent with blue behind it. Maybe silver behind it. Kind of hard to tell. But, and I know some people were curious about like with those. So it looks like that is how possibly the translucent pieces hook in is with those. So, yeah, it's not like it's a hole that you can sort of. Like get your fingernail in or anything but yeah looks amazing so i do have a couple things here for comparison 
So let's get him like this. And first comparison is, of course, with his leader class Earthrise counterpart. Whoops. And you can see the difference there. I mean, it's a heck of a difference, really. Let's, let's go like this with it. Yeah, you kind of see this. Yeah, it's oh, like night and day. I mean, that is a heck of a difference. I'm not saying this is a bad prime. It's just... I don't know. I mean, things were done with it that weren't right. Like the wheels not folding away in robot mode. You know, even though it was built like that with the original um, mold of the Siege, and then when they did the remold into the Earthrise, they locked that in, and it's just it was disappointing. But can see the differences here i mean that is just night and day this one definitely fits in with the other studio series figures a lot better in both modes in my personal opinion so, so there is him and then one that i haven't really seen people do <coughs> pardon me a comparison with so i decided i would and that is with Rodimus Prime. And they look great together. I Like I said, I have not seen very many people do a comparison with Rodimus. I mean, he is the successor. This is the kingdom. We don't have a studio series Rodimus. Though if we did, they'll probably use this mold anyways. Because it is a great mold. I know some people aren't happy with like specific things. But I think it's perfect. Um, but take a look there it is like just looks amazing <clears throat> i mean they look great together they look great together really the only thing i could see improving with um if they were to do a studio series rodimus is i think it's with like taking that piece out but honestly with the door covering it you can't see it so my personal opinion, this Rodimus Prime is perfect. And it goes great with our new 86 Optimus Prime. They just look really wonderful together. But yeah, I mean, it. I was thinking I was going to see more people, more reviewers show off Rodimus with Optimus. I mean, after, yeah. You know, but did not, unfortunately. So we'll bring them back in later for robot mode comparisons. But starting off, let's start with the trailer. So let's set Op Optimus off to the side. And this is going to be a long video, so I'll warn you ahead of time. Uh, one thing you can do is you bring down the, um, I forget what they're called, but the, the stands to hold it in one place um, one thing that's also very cool that i like is if you pull this open there we go and bring it up and we've got storage for blast effects parts so we'll bring those out for a little bit later fold this all back up and want to bring this out rotate that piece same thing with this side bring it out rotate now we can open it up oh and you can fit a car in there uh autobot car in there i did not bring one down with me unfortunately but now we open this up and yeah you can see one issue i currently have is one of my blast effects is like all bent out of shape from packaging but it's okay but everything stores very nicely and has its own storage slot yeah i just wish i could get this to sort of stick in there a little better but we've got blast effects we've got roller we've got his energy x we've got his ion blaster 
and we've got the repair drone. And one thing I really like is roller actually tabs in, so he's not going to fumble all the way around, but we'll take a look at roller a little later. Yeah. And yeah, you can see... Where the blaster can store on either side with these uh, tables or slots and there's a tab on either side and then same thing with the axe you could put it over here or you could put it over here it really doesn't matter and I really do love the fact that they molded in like the little MicroMaster seats or is that what they're called or die clone guy seats on both sides so let's bring that out so this one too so very cool on that we'll bring get all this out for now and yeah so very nice molding really do love it we got the little arrow we've got all this molding just looks amazing and then our repair drone can bring him up all the way bring up the little satellite and then can actually have this any way you wanted it so you could keep it under or you could bring it over and this doesn't really spin but you can it's got a soft thoop and then this opens up so very cool um another thing you can do you can untab it from the trailer bring in roller and you got these tabs and just tab it in and there <laughs> so there is that um i'm pretty sure we're gonna see a third party come out with something that is gonna be like its own little wheel platform kind of like how the uh, masterpiece one does so still very cool i do really like this so bring this all sort of down fold that all up and set the trailer off to the side there we'll take a look at roller and roller looks great all silver um so one thing i found out is you can put any of the titan masters or prime masters into the seats so if you got four just hanging around like i never got any of the separate titan masters so all of mine are like the headmasters that are like in around my headmaster's shelf so yeah still very cool and of course he rolls and of course he can have the gun plugged in so very cool on that really do like that yeah and that is that's pretty much it for roller i mean i wish i had uh a titan master that i could have put in there um to show that off but if you got four all four of them will sit in so that is very cool that they thought of that and again like i said he just tabs in and then we can can close this up and he's not going to go anywhere so very cool on that and bring these up oh don't no, bring them up this way and rotate that in bring this up rotate that in and you kind of want to get them just like that we'll plug this back into optimus and show that well, they all roll very nicely and look really good um with these blast effects so they come in parts and they only go together a specific way but these are going to tab in and they only tab in in a particular way but like this one's going to tab in right oh no yeah this one right here there we go and this one tabs in right there and then there we go and we've got optimus blasting off like i absolutely love that that looks really really good 
So cool. So very cool. Like... <laughs> Definitely like my type of thing. So, yeah. Really, really like that. <laughs> but now we'll put the trailer off to the side because we're pretty much done with that, showing everything off. Take these out. Take these out. Oh, wait. Actually, one thing I forgot to show with the trailer is bring this up just enough to see but you can plug in the blast effects onto that so again you can see mine are kind of out of shape i gotta get them back into shape but there we go with that so yeah so now i'll take a closer look at prime yeah he just looks so good Oh, nice, more flat back. Um, it is, I wish there would have been a little more engineering done for a panel to come down and cover that up, but, whoops, cover that up. So, but not bad. And, yeah, the taillights, you can see, like I said, I swapped these around. There's the bottom, looking really nice. And, again, yeah, very, very cool. So, that is pretty much it for vehicle mode, so let's transform him the robot mode and this is pretty easy so what we want to do first is untab this oh wait no first you know i've transformed this a few times and i always always forget to do this first so we want to flip the wheels around first on the rear you know don't know how many times like i've gone back and forth and i forget to do that the first time so now we untab this bring it down make sure you uh, swivel it just enough to clear the tire and also untab it from there bring it around flip this all the way around and you want to get this in there like that and that's just going to sit right there same thing with this side there we go flip it bring it all the way make sure you get that in there and then again untab it from the back there or bring it down out of the way a little bit flip these down and there's these big tabs are going to tab into those slots right there so make sure you do that then we can separate it oh one thing another thing we want to do is we want to pull the wheels apart to bring this up so just just enough we can bring all this up and this is going to tab together Together, just like that now we'll finish up these pieces so you want to bring the toe up then bring the heel up and this piece you want to flip in now we'll take this piece and it's tabbed in there very nicely flip it around and make sure it tabs in and there's one foot done or one leg done same thing with this side flip up the toe flip back the heel flip this piece in and then untab this flip this in and then we can flip this piece actually we'll leave this so leave that like that and now we'll work on the rest of it so want to do here is you want to untab from here flip this in like that and then just leave that like that we'll do the other side just like that and then we can untab here we want to bring it down sort of out of the way like that now we can untab the arm make sure you move the smokestack out of the way you are not seeing everything i am doing <laughs> make sure you move the smokestack enough out of the way so we can bring it out 
that way we can rotate this piece actually like this bring that out and then oh actually these want to come down like this so make sure they're in like that and then again untab the arms Oof. so they tab in there and tab in here they tab in very nicely so and just leave them like that so this what we want to do is want to bring this down flip this in and then you can bring that back in then now this is gonna go in like this you want to or actually I think we want this no this is gonna okay this is gonna go this way so with that done what we want to do is we want to flip these pieces up flip let's bring these in bring these in <coughs> there we go bring this down now this is very very tight like very tight right, come on man there we go bring that around like that now that's going to make it a little easier to rotate this piece around and then we want to rotate his waist around then we can bring these back down just like that then this is all gonna come down and oh, maybe I do have this wrong okay I think I do so this piece nope <laughs> and it comes down like this okay there we go <laughs> so yeah and then this comes up and you want it all to fit in and this tab's going to go back in there we're almost done bring the arm down you want to bring his little antenna up bring this arm down rotate the arm bring his smokestack back down then want to open up that part of the arm to bring his fist out and that'll tab together very nicely and same thing on this side and there we go and there we have studio series optimus in his robot mode and man he looks good he looks so good Like, yeah, he's got a bit of a backpack, but it doesn't bother me. I know backpacks bother other reviewers, but honestly, it's very seldom that I have my figures on the shelf like this. Whoop, forgot one piece. So bring this up. That'll finish up his butt. <laughs> and yeah, he looks good. So very, very nice Optimus head. Make sure I got the antennas right. The blue eyes, that gray faceplate, gray actually in there around the eyes, unlike um, the Earth Rise, which is unfortunate. Some yellow or orange there. Of course, you can see all that there. Silver for that. The yellow, all the white, the blue, that gray. Of course, there's the toes. Just, man, looks really good. Articulation with him, head. It's on a ball joint, can rotate, 
can look up a little, down a bit, a little bit of wiggle. Arms come out that far, do full 360. We do get, you saw it happen, we do get a butterfly, both front and back. <laughs> We've got bicep swivel. We've got 90 for an elbow. I do wish that it would have been more than a 90, but oh well. We do have wrist. We have these three fingers on two joints and his pointer finger on two joints. So he can he can be pointing all epically at Megatron. <laughs> so very cool there. We do have waist lift they can lift separate but head is so tight they like to lift together kicks forward that far kicks back that far we've got thigh we've got over 90 for the knee and i really love the detail they got there uh, the foot can move the toe down a little bit and that's the whole thing with pushing that in these pieces in it keeps the toe from going all the way down the heel can come down a bit and then we've got that much ankle pivot so and the ankles do lock in for truck mode so again very cool on that yeah like i said i really do like this guy of course he can wield his weapons you can give him his blaster. Come on. So, and you can take one of the, let's do the straighter one, one of the blast effects and plug it on. So very cool on that. You can also open up swing his hand back in that'll bring out this peg and that's where his energy axe is going to plug on and of course mine's a little warp too from out of the box but still very cool really really love that looks good absolutely crushed it with this figure look man And yeah, I I cannot recommend this guy enough. <laughs> he stands so tall. Get him into a decent standing pose here. Well, one thing also want to make sure that I show off. Um, get, you can open up for his matrix chamber. And there's the Matrix, and it's the same Matrix that we've seen with Earthrise, with Rodimus, with Ultra Magnus. So, yeah, and you can do a thing of hold. I'm not going to really do that. Emgo showed that off, and a few others have showed that off. And I'm sure you've seen their videos before you've seen mine. But you can do a way of him holding it. Of course, they can never hold it properly because it is still a bit small, but it's got to be a specific size to fit in with things but i do love the fact that they did it properly with this piece coming up and down yeah really love that so so now comparison here he is with earthrise i don't know why my earthrise is all goofy now there we go and man what a difference like he looked like he jumped right out of the cartoon. He definitely fits like the more um, original toy aesthetic in a way. Um, so if that's what you go for, you know, then you got the wheels hanging out, then cool. I mean, it it's all down to personal preference. Like if that's what you prefer, then I got nothing against you. I am still going to be hanging on to this. I do like this this figure. It is a good mold, but this one is better, definitely better, and really looks good 
really. So that is the Earthrise Optimus. <clears throat> and here we have him with Rodimus. Get mine to stand up straight. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and they look good together. Really do like that. Definitely a uh, very, very good update. Um, definitely going on my uh, G1 mainline shelf. <laughs> really, really happy to have this guy. Um, but yeah. So there's that. And now before I forget because I've come close to forgetting I don't know how many times here we have the backdrop and it is the damaged Autobot City and it is the part of the movie where you see Optimus come driving around from here chasing down the Septicons and you know you can put them in there like there probably best to have his weapon on him I do wish the weapon was a little tighter. But still. Very, very nice update. Absolutely love it. So yeah. So that is going to be it for... My studio series, Optimus Prime. Um, I got mine from CMD Store. Um, I think he's sold out now, or that site's sold out now. But check Big Bad Toy Store. I think Hasbro Pulse might have some, or they could be sold out. I know this sold out very quickly. Um, but definitely, definitely recommend grabbing him. Um, I've already seen a few like third-party um, 3D uh like upgrade kits or well not really upgrade but more like um filling in a few gaps that are there in truck mode uh already starting to be available so i might get in on that it depends and when i do i'll show that off of course um, but yeah definitely recommend it um i also want to let you know i did start a patreon uh it is up to you if you wish to join, it is only a $5 monthly membership but on my Patreon. You will um, get a picture showing what the next review is going to be before I record it. So you, it could be a day before or it could be like five hours before I record it. But um, you will see that. Yeah, I will be doing uh, every few months a v updated video of my collection that I have out on display and um, also any uh, packages that show up at the door with new figures I will do unboxing videos on my patreon for those so that is what you'll get with the uh, monthly membership and again I'm not gonna go over five dollars for the monthly membership i will have a link to my patreon in the description um, i will put a link for cmd store and for big bad toy store as well so that way uh if you're looking for this guy and you want some places to check that is a place to check so yeah so that is going to be it for me as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later